Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is May the 8th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. I hope this video finds all of you doing well, focused on the Lord, and expecting great things for your future. As I prepared this word this morning, I struggled with it. The question in the back of my mind and to the Lord is always, what can we expect of the future? We know the Lord has promised us many great things, but when we look around the world today, we are wondering if God is in the picture if he is at work, or if the enemy has taken over. And so at times it is challenging to have a positive outlook on life. But the truth of the matter is that we will never be disappointed if we put our trust in the Lord. Those things the Lord has promised will come to pass. And yes, he is greater than the enemy, and he is raising up his church, his bride, to be victorious. And so, though it may not look this way, the Lord's word is true. I struggled with this word today because I, too, recognize the chaos in the world around us. While the Lord is telling us he has all things in control and that the enemy will be defeated. Though he fights with all he has, he will be subdued. And so I hope this word today will encourage you, if you are struggling, to believe that God is in control and that his plan of action will trump the enemy's plan of action. This word today is titled, The Restoration of All Things. I'll begin by reading scripture. Daniel 7 verses 24 through 27. The ten horns are ten kings who will come from this kingdom. After them, another king will arise, different from the earlier ones. He will subdue three kings. He will speak against the Most High and oppress his holy people and try to change the set times and the laws. The holy people will be delivered into his hands for a time times and half a time. But the court will sit, and his power will be taken away and completely destroyed forever. Then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will worship and obey him. This scripture passage acknowledges the battle going on. It speaks of the kings of the world having rulership over the people, subduing the nations, oppressing the people of God. But it tells us that the power of these kingdoms and these kings will be destroyed and that the kingdom of God will be established in their place. Daniel 2 verse 44 In the time of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms and bring them to an end, but it will itself endure forever. This scripture verse from the book of Daniel 
clarifies the fact that those kingdoms will be overtaken by the kingdom of God. Acts 3 verses 19 through 21 Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. This passage of scripture speaks about the restoration of all things and that the Lord is waiting in heaven for the exact time when the restoration will take place. I'll begin reading this word. The time has come for the restoration of all things. This is the day, this is the hour. Look to the book of Daniel the prophet. Read the account of kingdoms of the earth coming down. This is the day, says the Lord, when the kingdoms of man will come down to be replaced with the kingdom of God. Not many believe that my hand is at work to tear down that which has existed. They think the enemy has the upper hand. But I say to you, this is the work of my hand to strip the nations of their dependency on the world's system. I am taking down governments of men and powers that be, says the Lord. I am dismantling from the root those things built on a faulty foundation. Though it looks like the armies of the world are assembling themselves to overtake the nations, my plan is to overtake them and to establish my government in the earth. Turn your heart to me and I will show you what is to come and what is in store for those who love me and have stood the test of endurance. I will sweep across the land and wipe away all existence of the man-made system you are familiar with. But I warn you, do not be afraid of what you see, because I am lifting up my bride to radiate my light and to rise to positions of leadership in the land. This is the day of turmoil for those who put their trust in the world's system. But for those who look to me, joy and rejoicing will come. For I have conquered every foe, everything that raises its head in opposition to the Lord God. Restoration is coming to those who put their trust in me, says the Lord. They will blossom and bloom in this day. This is my testimony unto you. You will see the changing of the guards, the transferring of the kingdoms of the world into the hands of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Though those in worldly positions of authority roar, they will be brought to nothing. The nations will bow at the feet of Jesus and worship him only. This is the day and this is the hour of fulfillment for these things, says the Lord God Almighty. Rise up, my bride, and step into position as my candidates of government. This word today is short, but it is quite precise. The Lord is telling us He's about to conquer the enemy and bring victory to his people, to take down the world's system, the kingdoms of men, and to replace them with his government in the earth. 
The Lord had promised that a time of restoration was coming. Through the prophet Daniel, the Lord prophesied that these kings of the earth would be coming down and that God's kingdom would arise. And so when we look around us and see all the chaos, we may think this is the work of the enemy. But the Lord is telling us he is at work in what is going on because he is dismantling the world's system, those things built on a faulty foundation. And so as they are coming down, things look chaotic. But in the midst of that, the Lord is raising up his bride to shine his light and to rise into positions of authority and into governmental positions in his kingdom. The Lord is telling us not to be afraid of the things we are seeing taking place. All things are in his capable hands, and he has the upper hand. And so though the kingdoms and the kings of the earth roar, and there is a great uproar, the Lord is moving in to establish his kingdom and all the nations will bow before him. As I said, I struggled with this word as I received it from the Lord, but he made it clear that a restoration is coming. That restoration will put in place his government and so, though we do not know to what extent this uproar will manifest, the Lord is telling us to trust him and to believe that he is in control. For those who put their trust in the Lord, there will be great rejoicing. My prayer today is that we will be able to grasp a hold of God's intentions to put an end to those things that have opposed his righteousness. That he is on the scene and at work fulfilling those scriptures that were given to encourage us that the Lord wins the war between good and evil. Be encouraged. Be blessed of the Lord. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to all of you in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.